And now to new developments in a story that we've been following for years now. Grandparents convicted of helping their daughter get away with her son and escaping to Brazil in the middle of a custody fight. They're back in court. That's right. At issue, the amount of money they're required to pay that boy's father. Our Brittany Jeffers was in today's hearing and is joining us now with the latest. Brittany. Yeah, following that hearing, the grandparents right now are essentially in a waiting period. They're waiting to get the judge's order to find out just how much restitution, if any, they will owe to Dr. Brand, which is their grandchild's father. We're told by their attorney that they are also waiting to see when they will report to serve their prison sentences. It's been a heated case that's played out in the courts for the last several years. And now this morning, a federal hearing took place to determine just how much money the grandparents will have to pay Dr. Chris Brand, their grandchild's father. They asked for over a million dollars restitution for this company. It's like sort of we want to put you in jail and then we want to put our foot on your neck. In December, Carlos and Himima Gamares were convicted of helping their daughter abduct their then three-year-old grandson to Brazil and keeping him there. Carlos Gamares was sentenced to three months in prison. His wife, Himima, was sentenced to one month. Nico, the child at the center of this case, remains in Brazil with his mother, Marcele. I was unable to get in touch with Mr. Bran or his attorney for comment. The Gamares attorney says that that prosecutors dropped the restitution total from one and a half million dollars to around 700,000. He says now all they can do is wait. I don't know uh, when the judge, we don't know when he's gonna issue the order. Now, when I did ask the couple's attorney about a timeline, he said that he does anticipate they will receive the judge's order soon. He also says that as soon as they know all of the details, the couple will report to serve those sentences, the one and three month sentence as soon as possible. Live here in downtown Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brittany, thank you.